you, it's Ali here and I'm popping on today to do um, a video for Dawn Baby Creations and I'm using the fantastic new release um, Mermaid Cove. Now the reason I'm not actually doing a live and I'm doing a pre-record is because I'm having issues with my microphone working on a live and um, I am looking into it trying to work out what's going on um, but uh, for the purposes of getting a video out there and doing something with the team um, I wanted to um, you know do this so I'm doing a pre-record so today what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a tag so what I've got I've prepared um, one of the tags from the Mark Maker uh, tag collection it's actually the Winter Aurora so the tag um, you know the tag dies are in the Winter Aurora set um, so I'll just grab them and then I can show you um, so that if you want any you know what you're looking for never prepared anyway <laughs> right so um, yeah here we go it's the Winter Aurora tag die set um, and that's from Mark Maker so code MM0018 if you're looking for those absolutely brilliant loads and loads of different sizes um, I, I can't be without this when I'm doing tags and it's one of the best tag die sets that I've got so I'm a bit of a hard actually so this does a humongous you can see the size that's my hand and you can see that's the big size so I'm doing the biggest size now in the mermaid cove set I have got this beautiful mermaid and I have pre-coloured one but I'm going to do a quick bit of um, colouring with you um, so that you can see my colouring process uh, I've got some glitter pastes I've got, I've actually this isn't a Dawn Bibby um, stencil I've actually cut this out on my cut and boss with some um, mylar um, because I wanted the sort of mermaid or the sea uh, and I couldn't find it so this is actually one that I've cut out um, myself and then with the dies um, I've cut some bits and pieces out so in my little box of tricks here this is for I'm going to colour this for the tag and I've got some of the other little bits and pieces of dies and we're going to colour those as we go along um, and I can show you what, what we're doing okay now with the when I've done the dies I usually keep the paper or card or whatever I've cut out with because sometimes they make fantastic stencils you know you can use them as a one shot stencil so I might actually do that today um, and then it kind of reuses um, that kind of outy um, where the dies have, have come out and I've also cut another tag because once I've created this tag I'm going to just give it some rigidity by um, sticking it to that back tag okay so the first thing I'm going to do is prepare the background for the tag with a little bit of um, spritzing and inking uh, and doing that um, bit of glitter pasting as well and then what we can do is move on to that mermaid whilst the tag's drying so what I've done is I've chosen the colours that I want on the back I've got a bit of packaging here and I'll show you what I'm going to do with that um, literally all I'm going to do is I've got a little glass mat here um, and I've chosen because the colours that I've got on the mermaid are sort of blue pink and purple I've emulated that with the um, the inks that I've chosen so I've got uh, kitsch flamingo wilted violet shaded lilac and salty ocean and then also to this to the right of me I've got some of the kiritaki gold paints that I use for splattering as well whether we use them or not I don't know I've just got them out because I tend to and then I've got this little tin um, it's a mini tin box of watercolour paints handmade watercolour paints and again they are reminiscent of the blues and sea colours I think they're lovely so I've got those as well um, and I've got in here I just need to reactivate them is actually some Lindy's um, uh, Lindy's watercolours you know the Lindy's Magicals um, and they have come from uh, the Outer Space collection of Lindy's so I've, I've used Outer Space Aqua, there's Galactic Teal um, and yeah that's it just those two it's just I've made lighter um, what's it so, you know lighter consistencies of them down there 
Okay, so I'm going to stop rabbiting on and I'm going to start doing this background. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to start with the lightest and I'm going to use the shaded lilac. And all I do is just pop some on my mat, grab the plastic packaging and just tip it in and then onto my... I'm not even thinking about it because if I think about it, I overthink it and I don't want to do that. So I'm just getting some colour down onto the uh, tag, okay, and I don't like doing this, but I'm going to wipe that off so that I can go to my next colour. So I've got Salty Ocean, so I'm going to pop that down. I'm not too worried about drying it so much in between um, because I'm not putting the load down. So again... Just pop in some of that on there. Okay. Give that a wipe. Whoops, a dizzy. Give that a wipe off. Again, I'm really loath to do this, but it's only a one off. So I've done the shaded lilac, I've done the salty ocean, so I'm going to put a bit of the purple. Okay, again, just your packaging. Pop it on. And. Like so. Okay. And then the final colour is... Actually, no, that's all of them now. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to blast that off. So bear with me one second. Okay, so I've just dried that off. There's a little bit that's not quite dried off there just tap that off like so so I've just started a background so I'm, all I'm doing really is just building some layers to work on top of so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to spray into my gold paints and I'm going to spray into those watercolour those homemade watercolours as well and I'm going to just do a little bit of splatting not an awful lot just a little bit just to give just like that Okay, just rinse that off and then I'm just going to go over the, over the, all of them so I get a bit of all those little colours. Okay, so I'm not going overboard, I just want to put a little bit of the splatting in the background. So I'm just going to dry that off one second. Okay, so I've just dried that off. And that's looking really lovely so far. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit more in the background, a little bit more texture and a little bit more interest. Um, so I'm going to grab the this, what I was telling you about, um, and I'm, I'm going to use my dauber. And I'm just very... Let me just find some distressing. I'm going to need... Um, told you I haven't got everything ready. Now yeah, I'm going to use a little bit of Twisted Citron and I'm going to use a little bit of Lucky Clover. Okay. So very, very gently. Just a little bit. Like so. Just to bring in some interest there. I'm not worried about it not showing up too much because I don't want it overpowering anyway. I just want a little hint. Can you see what I mean? I'll show you in a sec. So I just want a little hint of like a the sea bed if you like. And then I'm going to grab the Lucky Clover and with the taller, I'm just going to bring them in off the page, like so. Okay, and then bring that down again just for a hint. 
of grounding at the bottom there okay so I've just used those two um, I'll pop that to one side so I don't think I'm going to use any more of that I think I'm quite happy with that okie dokie so now that I've done that I'm going to grab my little mermaid um, stencil and I'm going to grab I think I might use white and silver so I'm, I'm going to use some glitter paste. I'm going to use the white first. Okay. So I'll just pop that up like so. It's just to put some um, some texture in. Okay. Now the one thing I did forget to do is bring in um, some water to pop this into so I'm going to wrap it up in a, in a baby wipe um, but I'll finish off I'll pop some silver on just to bring some colour in so pop some silver there and pop some silver up at the top here Okie dokie. So I'll just basically put in a texture onto the project. So I'll just pop those out of the way. Oops, a daisy. So I'm just going to wipe my knife and I'm going to wrap my stencil in a baby wipe just so that that doesn't go hard and ruin the stencil right here so I'm just going to let that dry now okay um, I'm going to take this up here where it's just not quite doesn't look how I want it to okay and then just take that bit off the side there Right, so I'm going to pop that to the side and that's going to dry off. Okay, just give that another wipe. And then I want to pop this out of the way because I don't need that anymore. Well, for now, anyway. <laughs> so I'm going to bring in some copy of paper and my mermaid. I'm just going to quickly just do a little bit of uh, colouring. What we're going wanting to achieve is... Um, this lady here so I'll just do a little bit to show you because nobody wants to watch people doing a load of colouring do they so right I'm using um, alcohol markers these particular ones are the um, tri-blend markers so I'm going to start with the skin of the mermaid and I'm just putting the light on first in fact, this lady has been done in um, watercolour cards. So really, I should have used watercolour uh, medium. But as long as I don't do too much onto the ink, we should be okay. Okay. So, what I'll do is... I'll use watercolour for the rest. So I'm going to use blue and the purple. Just grab my little sheet here. So I'm going to use Salty Ocean and the, which one's this one, the Wilted Violet. Okay, okay. And then I'm just, all I'd all I do is I'm a pretty lazy colourer sometimes so um, it's just a case of popping a layer down so you've got that first layer and then all you're doing is letting those layers dry and when you're going over again you're just building up the uh, depth and shade 
Um, but as I say, for, inten for intentions of the video, I don't want to be doing... I don't want it turning into a colouring video because I can do those if you want me to. But this is more... So all you're doing here, as I said, you're just building up in those where I'm doing here. You're just building up that depth and shade. Ideally, letting the layers dry in between. Um, and then you get, it, it looks a little bit better. So, and then you would intensify on her tail. Okay, and then just fill in her shells. Okay, okay, and then just let me grab my water for paintbrush, uh, and then literally just blend in or smooch in that lovely purple. Is the beauty of the distress inks is that they are so blendable, and they all kind of they do work in together. So it's extremely forgiving if you're just moving over. And of course you've got two colours that go really lovely together as well. So you're on to a, a winner there. So I'm not going to finish that because I do have one ready to pop onto a project. And of course you can colour her hair whatever colour you like. Um, I've coloured my... This one I've used... I've actually used... What did I use? Um, very possibly used prism colours actually uh, on that. So, okay, so what I'm going to do to finish this off is just grab a glitter pen and I'm going to glitter up her tail, her shells, and then literally just. Not quite that much, but we can go with that. Make her all glittery. So she's got beautiful glittery. Okay. Right, now then, I'm going to bring in this background. And I'm just going to finish it off uh, with a little blast um, just to make sure that it's completely dry. So just bear with me one second. Okay, so that's nice and dry now. So what I'm going to do is, I'm, whilst it's at this point, I'm going to adhere the other side to it, just to give it some rigidity and stop it bending all over the place. Just going to attach this to the okay. I'm actually using some Tombow glue, which is a very um, quick glue. Ordinarily I would actually use Dawn's glue but I haven't brought it over to the craft table so and it's just as good as the Tombow actually if not better it's very very um, quick stick so that's just literally flattened that out for me. Righty ho so um, with regards to an outline I think I'm going to go with bits of the salty ocean so I'm just, I'm just gonna do just to pull it all in and draw attention. Okay. I'm going to pop our mermaid on with some glue gel. But before I do, 
I'm going to just pop around to see so you can see how that's looking so far. She's looking lovely. And just grab those. I'm going to colour those in a minute. So I've also got some little bits of um, the the dies. So little elements that can go in the background, just literally popping them on. Um, already got. So I'm going to pop. I haven't done very well popping these out this before this video. <laughs> I told you I never, I never prepare because uh, it's not a case of not preparing. It's a case of I never, I don't plan if I can what I'm going to do because otherwise it always goes wrong if I plan it. So I've got a nice starfish here, absolutely beautiful. And she's going to have the little one in her hand, but I want to colour that in gold. So I'm going to have... This was why I wasn't worried about the intensity of that green when I put it on earlier, because I knew that it would be kind of behind this one here. So... I'm going to pop these out like I should have done before okay so we've got oops it is yeah I'm talking about it out now okay so I'm gonna pop a dollop of glue on there pop there and then we've got our beautiful starfish here so I'm gonna pop that over this side and See what I mean? I haven't popped these bits out. I don't know. Just grabbing my little pocky tool. Be all day trying to get them out with me. Nails. <laughs> so I'll pop those out. Okay, and then we'll just... Like so. Okie dokie. So then I am going to pop our beautiful mermaid up here. So I'll just grab my glue gel again. Okay, luckily I had enough to cover that. So she's going to stand up there prouder. And then I am going to, I'm going to colour these, which is why I've left this colour on this palette here. And I'm going to make the uh, little star, I'm going to just give that a little paint in gold. Um, so that's going to be gold, because she's going to be holding that. That's beautiful. Okay, so I'll just let that dry. I'll dry in a second. Or two. I'll just make sure I've got that all. Okay. Um, and what I might do is just do a couple of splats in the gold around her. Even over those. Tie it all together. Right, so then what I want to do is smooch the um, distressing. So I'm using Salty Ocean and Wilted Violets and what I've got here is just um, I don't even know what it's from. It's just a bit of material. So I'm going to colour it using the distressing. It doesn't have to be completely coloured. But I didn't want it to just be white. So. Right, so. Okay. 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 
yes so literally going to use it as a and just mop up all that color okay and then i'm going to dry that off so just bear with me a second okie dokie so i'm just going to on the ends i'm just literally going to fray those because i'm not bothered about them um being perfect that's all and i've also what i've done as well is i have got um, some string so I'm just cutting into this a little bit just to give it a bit of mm, like so okay it does need a little bit more drying actually does that so um, bear with me one more minute Okay, so I've just dried that off a little bit more. It does need a little bit longer. It's it's not 100% dry, but it'll do for the purposes of what we are doing. So I'm just going to pull our little mermaid down a tiny bit. Right, so she's got her... Well, she will have in a second. She's got her beautiful little starfish in her hand. like so she's all dimensional i'm just going to pop a big dollop there because there and she won't come it won't come off then okay okay and then the final thing that i need to do is just grab my string Um, I'm going to pop this bit in first, so pop that through, then pop the string in underneath. It's just for texture, this really, it's nothing. I don't always actually put um, ribbon or anything through um, my tags when I make them. So I'm just going to tie that up like so okay and then it's just a little bit too long is that string so I'm going to pop it off and then and that looks quite nice attached to there like that now then I shall just get a nice piece of oops get rid of them in rubbish and a piece of white and then that is going to be the finished um, tag. So I'll pull that up so that you can see. So I hope that you enjoyed watching that process. I really enjoyed making that tag actually. It's been a little while again since I've made a video. So this one that I've been using, don't forget, is the Dawn Bibby collection. It's the Mermaid Cove. Um, and it's a beautiful collection it's uh, two A4 stamp sets and two A4 die sets you've got a paper pad and you've got a stencil as well so also what we used was the Mark Maker Winter Aurora dies I've used the, the biggest one okay and then i used glitter pastes and gold paint some kurataki some watercolors um just had fun really i really did enjoy making that so if you enjoyed that brilliant have a go and um, you know leave, leave a message if there's anything that you want me to have a go at it's i've just recently joined um the don't baby team i'm really enjoying it at the, at the moment i will sort out where i can try and do a live um i'll try and sort this microphone out uh, other than that i will see you very very soon for another pre-recorded video unless i can get this uh, mic to work properly so take care and i hope you get this set because it is a beautiful set it goes phenomenally with the into the deep set which is a previous set that dawn's uh, released um and i'm gonna go now before i start rambling okay thanks for your time guys and i'll see you really soon bye